All right, everybody. It's time to finally see my electrical system, how I'm managing to do it without buying very much extra stuff. And this is always just an experiment, but this actually worked pretty well. It's been over a week, and it's working great. So here's what I did. So I start with my uh, porter, car porter cable, you know, cordless drill. Um, love it. This is the Lowe's, this is the Lowe's brand. Uh, very similar, obviously, to the Ryobi brand, which is uh, Home Depot, but this is the brand that I bought, was the, the Lowe's brand. And so the 20-volt batteries, and I had the thought, geez, I got three of these things, and they're 20 volts, and they last forever. Why couldn't I plug my laptop in? Why couldn't I plug my phone and the, and the fans and stuff into it? So I did a little research on Amazon, and it didn't take very long to figure out that they do make devices, and they're, they're, they seem to be for specific, what their real purpose is, is for people who have a 24 volt car system. Like in America, we use 12 volts, but in Europe, they use 24 volts for their cars. And these people are buying 12 volt um, stereo equipment that, for like American stereos and stuff. And they need to drop the voltage from 24 volts down to 12 volts. Um, so that they, their car stereo won't, their American car stereo won't blow up. Well, anyway. Um, they work great for this purpose too, so I did some research and yep, so one of these works great. So this is what I have and it's this little box right there, that little guy. And those little guys, those little things right there on top are just heat sinks I put on there to help the heat dissipate, but it's this little guy right here. So 20 volts comes in and then goes into this. And there's a little diode underneath that you that you with a screwdriver you can adjust. So I adjust it to 12.1 volts. Goes up into this, which is just a little adapter, so I can unplug it, which you know goes in here. And this mounts, you know, this mounts on my kitchen under my table, right? So then I got a cord for my fan, and this is a USB fan from Walmart works really good it's super low watts I mean super low point or it's 200 uh, 200 milliamps which is really low and uh, and then I got a cord that stays plugged in here for my phone so that cl that cord is for my phone And while I was on Amazon since I have a job now I bought a six foot cord no more extension cords a nice gold plated one so yeah, you know, I don't know if that works better. But anyway, all I have to do is take this and all that right there is is a paper clip and plug it in. And what's amazing, and you can hear the fan going. What's amazing is a paper clip fits absolutely perfect right in the slot right there. So it just slides in and grips nicely. Um, and it's not too much that it's going to damage that it's going to damage um, the insides here. And so there it is. The fan is on, um, and I can also plug a 12 volt fan in here, no problem. And so that's the system I'm using. It lasts about. Let's just turn this on me. There we go. So um, one of these batteries here lasts me about two days maybe more depending on the heat when it's when it's warm all the time two days will um, two evenings of fans and charging my phone will that'll be its use but I have three of them I have a wall outlet at work um, and these and these batteries charge super fast uh, you know and and they're fully dead an hour later they're fully charged so I have three of them so I should be able to go almost a week so when one dies I just take it in charge it back up, bring it back out, ready to go. So that's my system and that's what I'm doing for my electricity and hope everyone has a great day and it's exciting for me that I have uh, good working electricity and this guy 
still works like one I get one night of a fan with it but I'm not I can't throw it away because what happens if I need an extra day so I'm just gonna hold on to it and throw it away when it finally dies but anyway have a great day everybody just a quick update I forgot to mention with this unit right here with that unit right there if you leave it plugged in if you plug this into it and leave it plugged in that little unit has a small trickle draw all the time even if you don't have anything plugged in and charging and so it'll drain your battery down when you're not using it so I did an experiment on that to see and yes it did it drained it all the way down by the next morning even though nothing was plugged in um, so that's the only caveat make sure you unplug it when you're not using it and that's you know just takes two seconds and I get to show you my meal so I'm gonna have an avocado and then the rest of the nuts and the pico that I showed in my last video or my one of my last videos and and corn chips and that is gonna be a yummy little lunch for myself and then I'll have something bigger for dinner tonight alright bye everybody